hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are going to see another tutorial with Arduino so if you have seen my previous tutorials we have set up Arduino with the PAR sensor we have also seen like push button how to make use of push button and we have seen uh, different project with LEDs and uh, DC motors right so if you have not seen all those things I would request you to go and uh, check my tutorials okay and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can make use of uh, ultrasonic sensor okay and we'll be uh, designing our circuit with our you know ultrasonic sensor and we'll be also writing the code to see how the ultrasonic sensor uh, works right we can uh, find out how much uh, distance uh, is between uh, uh, you know using the ultrasonic sensor okay so we will uh, see that in this tutorial so before i get started i would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment so we are going to use uh, tinkercad uh, the simulation software here so we'll be designing the circuit in tinkercad and also we'll be writing the code so by end of this tutorial you can just copy the code you can you know do the same connection in your uh, physical machine and you can upload it through the arduino id okay so if you have not seen uh, Tinkercad, you need to create a free account. Uh, just create a login and then you will be able to get into this screen. Okay, on the right side you will have the components. So first thing what we need is we need to have an Arduino ID. So you just need to put that in the panel. Okay, and uh, we'll also make use of a breadboard to make some connection. Okay. So before I get, uh, connect the uh, ultrasonic sensor i just want to make use of a 5 volt and also a ground in the uh, breadboard okay so let me just uh, connect that first Okay, and I'm going to extend this to the other side of breadboard okay, for the ground and uh, also for the 5 volt. Okay. So it's not uh, mandatory that you need to use uh, you know like this because uh, we, what we need is we need to have a, a voltage 5 volt and ground to be connected to the ultrasonic sensor now the benefit here is the last two rows and the top rows we can use it for the 5 volt and uh, you know the ground okay so we have the uh, breadboard and arduino connector now we need to use the ultrasonic sensor so now if you see uh, here there is an ultrasonic sensor right this have only three pins so ground power and there is only just one uh, signal pin okay so basically ultrasonic sensor have uh, you know uh, different pins so, so one the ground which is to power on the device and also the ground okay and uh, in a normal ultrasonic sensor you'll have another two more pins okay so let me search the right here okay so I search the components ultrasonic sensor uh, you can see there is one more sensor here so this have uh, four pins right so you can see there are four pins for this sensor so power and there is one trigger and the echo right and also a ground so if it this ultrasonic have only three pins because it has combined both the trigger and echo together into one pin okay so we'll use the uh, ultrasonic sensor which have four pins okay you can also use the three pin sensor but in this case we'll use the four pin okay so to give you details again there is one power then uh, there is a pin for trigger okay and this there is a pin for echo and there is a pin for uh, ground so actually trigger is the uh, input pin uh, that means you know from arduino we can send uh, a you know, message or we can give inputs to the you know, ultrasonic sensor and you can tell that you know from a short period it can make you know 
uh, high so it will send the signals and it when it comes back you know the echo pin will receive it and it will uh, bring the output so when the echo pin is uh, becoming high means you are getting an output that you know it has received back the signal so we are going to make use the that method here so you know uh, once the ultrasonic sensor received the signal that means it has calculated how much time it has uh, uh, taken for traveling the signals to that you know uh, object and come back to the ultrasonic sensor okay so let's connect the ground and uh, the uh, 5 volt first okay so let me connect the ground and let me connect the uh, 5 volt as well okay Now we need to use the trigger and echo pin. So I'm going to connect the trigger to the Arduino, so pin number seven, okay? And uh, the echo I'll be connecting to the pin number six, okay? So you can give any color you want, okay? So what we're going to do is, now the connection is completed, so this is all what we need to test our, or you know, to make use of the ultrasonic sensor. So we have a uh, pin number seven to the trigger and uh, pin number six to the echo. Okay. So now what we need to write the code to uh, define that you know the pin number seven uh, sends some signal for a short period and uh, pin number six should receive it. Okay. So let's go to the code section and select the text. Okay. So we're using the text uh, for writing our code. So this is the default sample comes uh, with the uh, no program, but we are not going to use this. So let's remove this uh, wide loop. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to set some uh, uh, Values or variables, so I'm going to use uh, trigger pin which will be seven and I'm going to use uh, a copy pin which is six I'm also going to set a long uh, variable which I'll be using to calculate the distance okay so it should be unsigned long variable okay and I'm going to name the variable as a uh, duration okay or maybe I can put it as a uh, distance and uh, it should be we don't have to give any value for it just set a long distance which uh, we'll use it to calculate the distance okay in the void setup i'm going to use this uh, trigger pin as uh, output so the difference here is like in uh, arduino it's an output pin but in uh, in an ultrasonic sensor it's trigger pin is an input pin because the value uh, which is sent from uh, pin number seven has to be received there okay so we are setting in arduino uh, uh, this uh, one okay so the trigger pin in arduino is uh, output okay so i'm going to also set the echo pin as input And since I want to give the output in a serial monitor, I'm going to use a serial command as well. Okay, so it's going to be serial dot begin, and the port number is uh, nine six hundred. Okay, that is all what we need inside the void setup. Okay, now it's time for to write in the void loop. So the first thing what we have to do is we need to make the trigger pin as low okay so we need to clear any values which are already there okay so we'll use a digital write trigger pin low okay and I'm also use going to use a 
small uh, delay okay it's going to be microseconds okay so this is for uh, clearing the values in the trigger pin okay so it's for uh, clearing the trigger okay then what we have to do is now we need to write uh, the value high in the uh, trigger pin so it can send the signal and you know we'll keep it for around 10 microseconds and then we'll make it low so within that duration how much the signal is gone and uh, the time duration we can calculate when it receives back to the ultrasonic sensor okay so let's write digital right trigger pin high okay and I'm going to use uh, delay microseconds and I'm going to use it for 10 uh, microseconds okay and then we have to make it low again so digital right trigger pin low okay so what it is it made high and waited for 10 microseconds and became low so by that time how much uh, uh, what is the time for the signal to try go and come back we have to now capture in the echo pin okay? so there is uh, something called the uh, pulse in and uh, we are going to call the echo pin here okay echo pin and uh, when the echo pin receive the signal it will become usually high okay so this will actually give the output or the duration for how much time it has taken I'm going to save that into the distance uh, variable okay long variable so here what we are going to do is uh, we are capturing the time duration okay wish for a sound wave to travel in microsecond okay I think since it's uh, you know, uh, time, I think duration would be much better than uh, distance, right? So it's not a uh, it's not a distance; it's the duration. So how much it's going to come in the microsecond? Okay. So I think this should be enough, so we can just output this duration. So I'm going to use uh, serial dot print ln. I'm going to call the duration here okay so the print ln is for to have it in the uh, next line okay rather than going in the same line so it's all the values will come in two different lines okay each line will come whenever there is a new uh, duration is uh, identified okay so this will be in microsecond okay we will see how we can convert that into you know, centimeter so before that i just want to show how this works okay so let's start the simulation okay yep i think there is a mistake in our digital right okay so let me see that yep here we have missed the r okay it should be digital right so let's initialize to uh, simulate again so it started the simulation so let me move this a little bit here so if i click on the sensor if i go to you know serial monitor you see that it's coming up the values okay this is the uh, duration or uh, microsecond but if you see here it shows uh, it's it's the distance is 113 for centimeter okay so if you see what we are getting in the serial monitor is the duration or it's in the microsecond okay but uh, what we see it on here it's the distance so let's stop this okay let's uh, convert our microseconds uh, into uh, centimeter okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call or create another uh, variable it's called uh, distance okay and uh, I'm going to convert this duration into distance okay so distance will be so this is the value to change uh, 
the microseconds into centimeters so if you multiply with this with the microsecond duration you'll be getting the value uh, you know, which is the cent centimeter so I'm going to change this print ln into distance okay now let me try to do the simulation and let's see how much is uh, okay I think yep I think we have missed uh, the, the finishing okay so I have to put that and then let's start the uh, simulation again okay let me go to serial monitor again so now do you see it's uh, you know if I click on see it's 177 right it's almost same 176 right so if I reduce it see 127 it's 126 right so a uh, small change but it's almost the same right 77 centimeter okay so that's how it should be okay if you want to add the centimeter here what you can do is let me stop the simulation okay you can change uh, print ln from here and uh, you can just copy the same thing next should be okay i think it should be something like centimeter i think here i will put ln okay so let's see what it does okay you see that it's added a uh, centimeter to that values okay so it's now coming up in the centimeter right so 188 it's almost like 186 centimeter and let's go to the next line okay whenever it change so so I think we are done so I think this should have given you good information on how we can make use of uh, no, ultrasonic sensor to find your distance okay so this will be a starting basics tutorial now we'll be making use of this concept into other uh, tutorials okay how we can make use of ultrasonic sensor for other purpose okay so i will give the github link for my you know uh, place where you can download this script so you can download the script from there and you can use it for your learning or you can you can use it for your projects okay so it's not at a problem i'll give the github link and the circuit diagrams so you can uh, get it from there okay so i hope uh, this is uh, this tutorial is informative for you okay and i would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel uh, like the video share and comment